how does a wine glass, a piece of coloured cellophane and some cling wrap help you get a different look and feel to your images? I'm Lexi Savides from CNET. I'm going to show you how to use these three items for some unique photo effects. First up, we're going to use coloured cellophane to emulate a coloured filter and also to add some really nice light leak effects to your images. Grab any colour you like and cut off a small segment that will fit around your lens. Attach with a rubber band and look through the viewfinder to position it where you like in the frame. Depending on the effect you desire, you can cover half the lens, a small portion or the entire thing if you want a coloured gel look. You can even experiment by taping different pieces of coloured cellophane together and attaching them over the lens for some really neat effects. Next, we're going to use a wine glass and thanks to the magic of refraction, when I fill this with water, the image inside the glass is going to be inverted. Grab your glass and put it in front of a subject. Choose where you want your point of focus to be and then use a shallow depth of field or a small F number to get a background blur to really make the image pop. You can then flip the image in post-production for a trippy result. And finally, do you remember that old Vaseline lens trick? I'm going to show you how to create that effect for vintage and ethereal looking photos. First, grab your cling wrap and wrap it tightly around the barrel of the lens. Pull it taut and dab Vaseline around the edges. Depending on where you place the Vaseline, you can make it look like a foggy day or add a dreamy feel to portraits. For this effect, you can also use a cheap skylight or UV filter so you can smear the Vaseline on the filter itself. Sure, you might get some funny looks when using these tools out and about, but it's all in the name of having fun with your photography. So go out, enjoy, and check out plenty more tips on using everyday items for your photography as creative filters over at the How To on CNET.